Hi, this short video is going to show you a couple of tips with opening source members in LPEX. I have a list of filters here as you can see. I'm going to expand this work with members just like this and type in my library name which is RDI user 01. You can see it right there. Here's my source physical file and I'm going to limit the member names to Z as you see right there. And there's my filter name. When I expand that filter just like that, you should now see, as we do, three source members that qualify for that filter. Now, when I double click on this one member, just like this, here's the double click, it's now going to download that into RDI, into LPEX, which, just, it, which it just did. And notice here that I, I guess, double click to expand it. Notice here that I have the pencil here. And this means that I'm now in edit edit mode. I can now make any changes I want to this source program. I can add a file, delete a file. Just for example, I can do this just to show you. So I'm, I'm fully in edit mode. I'm going to now close this, not save it. And I'm going to open it again, but this time I'm going to say browse with LPEX. And of course, the result will be the same. There's the source member again, but now I'm in browse mode. That doesn't really, that's not very exciting. However, there are two things I want to point out. The first thing is many developers that I know always want to have the double click feature open in browse mode, not in edit mode, because they find that more often than not, they're just browsing different source members and they don't want to worry about locking the member. So there's a nice feature here, right here. If I click on source, I'm in browse mode. You can see browse mode right there. If I click on source, and notice the option on the bottom here. It says toggle edit browse mode, which is control shift G, or just go to source and toggle. If I click on that, watch that word browse. What happens is I get a message here that says setting editor to edit mode. I am now in full edit mode here, and I can make changes to the source code. I can do it again source toggle again and I will be taken out of edit mode and put right into browse mode again. Now of course had I made changes to that member and then I switched to toggle uh, wanted to toggle to browse mode it would not let me do it without first prompting me if I wanted to save that member or not. I'm going to close this now and a more interesting feature or preference of RDI is this one. If I click on Window and go to Preferences and then type in the word Object, I will be brought to the Object Subsystem Preference screen, just as I am right here. IBM I, Object Subsystem. And there's a nice feature right here in the bottom. It says Open Source in Browse Mode. It's, when you first install RDI, that is unchecked. But if I check it, just like that, and say OK, now, when I double click on that same source member, just like this, here's my double click, notice that I am immediately brought into browse mode, not edit mode, even though I double clicked on it, because I changed the, the way, I changed the default way of opening that member. I can do it again over here, click on that one, double click I should say, and there I am in browse mode again. Certainly I can at any point say source, toggle, just like that, and I'll be brought into edit mode for that member. So you can have it either way you'd like, whatever's more productive for you. Uh, two little tips, opening up in browse or edit mode and being able to toggle back and forth between edit and browse. Hope you enjoyed this little tip and I will see you again. Take care.